Hello and a very warm welcome to Science Monitor, your weekly update on what's happening in the field of science, technology, research and innovation in and around the country. I'm Ashwarya Kapoor with you. From a recently launched program to understand the impact of science, technology and innovation on socio-economic development of communities to the development of an autonomous aquatic observatory to monitor the health of the rivers, we have plenty in store for you. But first, let's begin with the headlines. Technive at 75 launched on 15th of November as part of Azadi Ka Amrit Mohotsav. The year-long program will capture, highlight and evaluate the impact of STI interventions on socio-economic development at the community level. IIT Kanpur develops a robust and self-sustained mechanism to check the water quality of River Ganga. Supported by DST Government of India and IUSSTF, the project will help in real-time in-situ monitoring of the river. Pune-based Agarka Research Institute develops a bio-fortified high-protein variety of durum wheat resistant to many diseases and pests the variety can alleviate malnutrition in a sustainable way. An India International Science Festival 2021 to be organized in Panaji, Goa, scheduled to run from December 10th to 13th, the Mahakumbh of Science will be inaugurated by Union Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh. And now the news in detail. Science, technology and innovation have played a crucial role in empowering society and improving the quality of life at the community level. With an aim to capture, highlight and evaluate the impact of STI on aspirations and socio-economic development of community, a program called TechNeve at 75 has now been launched. This joint initiative of the Ministry of Science and Technology and the Ministry of Earth Sciences in collaboration with Vigyan Prasar was launched by Union Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh on the 15th of November. Here is our exclusive report on the program. Tech Neve at 75 was launched by Dr. Jitendra Singh, Union Minister of Science and Technology and Earth Sciences at an event held in New Delhi on the 15th of November. Officials and employees of the Ministry of Science and Technology, Ministry of Earth Sciences and their related departments were present on the occasion. India has created its identity as a strong nation on the global map of science, technology and innovation. Today, this power of STI plays an important role in strengthening Indian society. TechNeve at 75 is a timely program of the Ministry of Science and Technology and the Ministry of Earth Sciences in this direction. The program was launched with an objective of assessing and evaluating the change that happens in communities and their capacity development when introduced to science, technology and innovation intervention. In the last 75 years, the country has recorded significant achievements right from the deep oceans to the infinite space, from the Green Revolution to the nuclear power program. Even during the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, India has performed its duty towards humanity by rapidly developing vaccines and has set a record by administering 100 crore vaccine doses in a remarkably short period of time. It is the result of the expertise and hard work of our scientists that in the last five years, India has risen from 81st to the 46th rank in the Global Innovation Index. With the aim of utilizing this scientific potential of the country for the advancement of all its citizens, the Ministry of Science and Technology and the Ministry of Earth Sciences of the Government of India have been running various social programs to bring about a change in the quality of life at the community level. To measure and evaluate these changes, it has been decided to launch Tech Neve at 75. Tech Neve at 75 is a joint initiative of the Department of Science and Technology, Department of Biotechnology, Council of Scientific and Industrial Research and the Ministry of Earth Sciences. Inaugurated on the 15th of November 2021, 
as part of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, Tech Neve at 75 is a 75 hour year long program in which community based organizations, farmer organizations, startups, NGOs, and science and technology institutions have been included as stakeholders. The entire program will be executed under three broad themes. Under technical impact presentation, societal feedback will be obtained through experience sharing of community groups and meet will be organized involving community change leaders and change makers. Under technical impact compilation, 75 impactful stories that help in making Atma Nirbhar Bharat will be compiled and collage making competition on theme promoting Vocal for Local with STI interventions will be organized. Under technical impact vision, a roundtable meeting of educational institutions, science and technology based institutions and social enterprises will be organized to prepare the roadmap for the future. Under the program, three sessions will be organized every day for 25 days. The mission is scientific development for all. Vigyan Prasar, an autonomous body of the Department of Science and Technology, is coordinating and implementing this program as a knowledge partner. Speaking at the Tech Neve at 75 launch ceremony, the Union Minister described the program as a fitting and timely initiative that will help build a fast emerging empowered society by synergizing traditional and local knowledge with innovations in science. Beneficiaries and community change leaders from across the country joined the inauguration ceremony virtually. These people shared their experiences as per the program outline. Over the next one year, Tech Neve at 75 will share all these experiences and plan innovative solutions in every field based on local understanding. This will prove helpful in the sustainable development of the country. Scientists at the Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur have developed a robust and self-sustained mechanism to continuously check the health of the river Ganga. Developed under a project sponsored by the Department of Science and Technology Government of India and the Indo-US Science and Technology Forum, the system is equipped with affordable in-situ water quality sensors and an auto sampler. This all-weather system will enable efficient real-time in-situ monitoring of various health parameters of the river. Here is a report. The most important of the major river systems of India, the River Ganga, also has a huge religious significance in Indian culture. However, over time, over-exploitation and uncontrolled human activities around the river have badly polluted it. Like other rivers, the Ganga is also becoming a victim of the effects of climate change. A solution for its various problems requires a continuous study of the impact of environmental change on the ecosystem of this large river system. As part of these efforts, researchers from the Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur have now developed a self-sustaining, robust, modular system for an on-site monitoring, real-time data transmission and web-based visualization of the river Ganga. The project, jointly sponsored by the Department of Science and Technology Government of India and the Indo-US Science and Technology Forum, is an autonomous aquatic observatory named NSVS. The idea of the project was that we will develop a completely autonomous system which will stay on the river Particularly, we aimed for two rivers, Ganga and Yamuna. So we will install this system on the river and it will continuously measure different river water parameters. And that will be reported continuously through wireless network system to different computers, internets, mobiles, etc. 
The NSVS system, developed as a low-cost, multi-parameter, water-quality monitoring platform, was recently inaugurated at Lakshman Ghat, Bithur, near Kanpur. It incorporates an array of sensors and auto-samplers placed on a stationary platform, which is semi-submersible, all-weather, robust and perfectly stable. For self-sufficiency, the platform is equipped with energy harvesting systems consisting of solar cells and a unique vortex-induced vibration system that can generate energy from the flow of the river. The NSVS system can sense three important parameters pH, conductivity and dissolved oxygen capacity of water. It can be used to estimate total dissolved solids, specific gravity and the presence of metal ions in water. The system will autonomously collect data every 15 minutes and report to the institute via wireless network. As you know that for millions and millions of people, these rivers are our life. So we have to continuously monitor how the river water quality is. And this monitoring system can work in an uninterrupted manner. Every 10 minutes, it can take a fresh data and it can send it. And anybody who is interested to work, have carry out some research on our rivers, they can do it. That is the idea. This system developed by Indian scientists can prove to be helpful in accurate monitoring and efficient assessment of the health of other rivers besides Ganga. And these rivers that were once known as the lifelines of India can once again be made healthy, clean and eco-friendly. Scientists at the Pune-based Aghakar Research Institute, an autonomous institute under the Department of Science and Technology Government of India, have developed a biofortified, high-protein variety of wheat. This variety has become increasingly popular among farmers in the last two years due to its anti-pest and disease-resistant properties apart from high yield potential. This variety of wheat can also prove to be helpful in the national nutrition campaign. Let us see the report to find out more about this wheat variety. A large part of the Earth's population, including in India, uses wheat in its daily diet. No doubt then that over time scientists have worked on improved species or varieties of this important cereal. Countless varieties of wheat have now been developed. Differentiated on the basis of high yield, yield under adverse conditions and nutritional value. As part of this development, the Pune-based Autonomous Institute of DST, the Agharkar Research Institute, developed a biofortified high-protein variety of Durum wheat named MACS4028 in 2019. Developed on the basis of research conducted through the Karnal-based Indian Institute of Wheat and Barley Research of ICAR, this variety is rich in nutrients besides having high yield and disease-resistant properties. It has about 14.7% high protein, 40.3 ppm zinc and 46.1 ppm iron. MACS4028 has been incorporated by the Krishi Vigyan Kendra program for UNICEF to address malnutrition in a sustainable manner. This effort of Indian scientists can boost the Vision 2022 Kuposhan Mukt Bharat, the national nutrition strategy. So we have developed the uh, Renfed variety naming MACS4028. During 2019, this variety is suitable for rain-fed condition of a peninsular zone for, uh, comprising Maharashtra and Karnataka. This MSS4028 variety having better nutritional quality uh, like uh, zinc content 40.3 uh, ppm and iron content 46.1 ppm and uh, having a good protein content 14.7%. As well as uh, uh, besides this uh, nutritional quality, this variety has been included under the uh, Kuposhan Mukt 
भारत प्रोग्राम ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एम ए सी एस फोर जीरो टू एट इज अ सेमी ड्रॉफ वेराइटी ऑफ वीट विद हाई न्यूट्रिशनल वैल्यू एज वेल एज हाई एंड स्टेबल यील्ड पोटेंशियल दिस न्यू वेराइटी इज रेजिस्टेंट टू स्टेम रस्ट लीफ रस्ट फोलियर एफिड्स रूट एफिड्स एंड ब्राउन वीट माइट इट मच्योर्स इन वन हंड्रेड एंड टू डेज एंड गिव्स अ स्टेबल यील्ड ऑफ नाइनटीन पॉइंट थ्री क्विंटल्स पर हेक्टर has been shown high degree of resistance against stem rust and leaf rust disease under artificial as well as natural lipophytotic conditions this variety has been found resistance against leaf rust stresses 77-9 77-4 and 104 and stem rust stresses 11 and 40-a the variety this variety has stem rust resistance gene SR7B as well as other adult plant resistance gene wheat is cultivated in the peninsular region of india like maharashtra and karnataka under rain fed and limited irrigation conditions hence there is a high demand for drought resistant varieties under the all india coordinated wheat and barley improvement program the agharka research institute pune works on developing high yielding early maturing and disease resistant varieties that can be rain fed macs 4028 is the result of such efforts made by the scientists for india's farmers yahan se bahut sare abhi tak varieties release ho chuki hai kisanon ke liye ye sari varieties किसानों के लिए फायदेमंद साबित हो हो चुकी है और जो गेहूं में अब तक हमारी तेरह वराइटीज किसानों के लिए प्रसारित हो चुकी है इसमें से बंसी यानी ड्यूरम शरबत यानी एस्टियम और डाइकोकम खपली में भी हमारी कुछ किस्में हैं अभी जो एक जो वराइटी आई है एम फोर जीरो टू एट ये तो बंसी गेहूँ की वराइटी है tagged under the biofortified category by the Indian Council of Agricultural Research this variety is well suited for states like Maharashtra and Karnataka and in the last 2 years the farmers of the region have rapidly adopted MACS 4028 this variety of wheat is proving helpful in increasing the income of the farmers thereby helping the center's goal of doubling farmers income by 2022 The India International Science Festival IISF 2021 has been formally announced. This year the festival will be organized in Goa's capital Panaji. The event scheduled to run from December 10th to 13th will be inaugurated by Union Minister of Science and Technology and Earth Sciences Dr Jitendra Singh. 12 events have been outlined for this 4 day science festival to align with the celebration of Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav marking the 75th year of India's independence let us see the report for more information on this India International Science Festival was first started by Vigyan Bharti with the aim of taking India's glorious scientific history and new achievements to the masses This science festival started in 2015 in collaboration with the Ministry of Science and Technology and the Ministry of Earth Sciences Government of India has now carved a niche for itself on the global stage. The 6th edition of the festival was organized virtually and made headlines for creatively tackling the odds of the coronavirus pandemic. The 7th edition of the India International Science Festival will be held in Panaji, Goa from December the 10th to December the 13th. The Union Minister of Science and Technology and Earth Sciences recently released the IISF 2021 booklet. This 4-day science festival has been given the theme Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav, a celebration of creativity, science, technology and innovation for a prosperous India. 12 programs have been designed under this theme. These include Science Film Festival, Science Literature Festival, Engineering Students Festival, Science Village Festival, Traditional Crafts and Artisans Festival, Guinness Book of World Records, Festival of Games and Toys, Global Indian Scientists and Technocrats Meet, Eco Festival, 
New Age Technology Show. The national social organizations and institutions meet and Mega Science Technology and Industry Expo. IISF provides a platform to young students, researchers, scientists, policy makers, educators and the general public from the country and Indian scientists from across the globe to exchange knowledge and ideas. IISF 2021 will also support flagship programs like Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, Swast Bharat Abhiyan, Make in India, Digital India, Smart Villages, Smart Cities, Namami Gange, Unnat Bharat Abhiyan, launched by the Government of India over the last seven years. The main objective of this science festival is to promote the use of innovations by people, develop affordable technology that benefits Indian society, and celebrate science with people in India and across the world. And now let's have a quick look at some other developments that have made news in the field of science and technology in our segment, Science Express. Scientists at the Indian Space Research Organization have discovered a new planet outside our solar system. Discovered by ISRO's Ahmedabad-based Physical Research Laboratory, this exoplanet is 1.4 times larger than our solar system's Jupiter. This exoplanet is orbiting a star that is 725 light-years away from us and is referred to as HD 82139 or TOI 1789. The planet will be named HD 82139b or TOI 1789b after the star. The study conducted by the Exoplanet Research and Study Group led by Professor Abhijit Chakraborty of the Physical Research Laboratory used the lab's 1.2-meter telescope located at Mount Abu Observatory. The researchers made this discovery using the PRL Advanced Radial Velocity Abu Sky Search Spectrograph mounted on the telescope. This planet is orbiting unusually close to its star and takes only 3.2 Earth days to complete one orbit. Due to its proximity to the star, its surface temperature remains very hot, reaching up to 2000 degrees Kelvin. The discovery was made between December 2020 and March 2021. The Technology Development Board of the Department of Science and Technology has invited entries for the 2022 TDB National Awards. Interested applicants may send their entries by 31st December 2021. To further its mandate, TDB invites applications from Indian companies under three categories. National Award for the Successful Commercialization of Indigenous Technologies, MSME Award and Startup Award. These awards are presented to industries on the occasion of Technology Day on May the 11th for the successful commercialization of innovative and indigenous technologies. This annual award provides a platform of recognition to Indian industries and their technology providers who are working to bring innovation to the market. The National Award for the Successful Commercialization of Indigenous Technologies carries a cash prize of Rs 25 lakh and a trophy. The MSME Award carries a cash prize of Rs 15 lakh and a trophy. And the Startup Award carries a cash prize of Rs 15 lakh and a trophy to each startup. A team of Indian researchers has developed a compound named 6-Bio, which may provide a better method for treating Autism Spectrum Disorder ASD. Dr. Vijaya Verma of the Jawaharlal Nehru Center for Advanced Scientific Research, DST's Autonomous Research Institute, and other colleagues demonstrated the potential of 6-Bio in a preclinical mouse model called Syngap-1. It is the first compound observed to be able to restore neuronal function, learning and memory and reduce epileptic seizures in Syngap-1 mice. According to the researchers, this can overcome the lack of appropriate treatment for diseases such as ASD and intellectual disability. Patients with ASD are unable to learn and remember new tasks. Six Bio can help children with ASD learn and remember, be social and reduce other symptoms such as seizures or sleep problems. 
Thus, it may be a better therapeutic option for the treatment of this disease. India has successfully launched its 41st scientific expedition to Antarctica. The first batch of 23 scientists and support staff reached the Indian Antarctic station Maitri. Four more batches will land in Antarctica by mid-January 2022 by air using the Drumland facility and its chartered ice-class vessel MV Vasily Golovnin. The two major programs of the 41st expedition include geological exploration of the Amuri Ice Shelf at Bharti Station and reconnaissance surveys and preparatory work for drilling a 500-meter ice core near Maitri. This will help explore the link between India and Antarctica in the past and improve understanding of the Antarctic climate, westerly winds, sea ice and greenhouse gases from a single climate archive for the past 10,000 years. As India is committed to keeping the continent of Antarctica free from the COVID-19 pandemic and maintaining the highest standards of safety, the Indian team has been sent to Antarctica after a rigorous medical examination at Ames, New Delhi and a quarantine period in Cape Town, South Africa. That is all in today's edition of Science Monitor. You can send your feedback and suggestions through email. Our email ID is India Science at vigyanprasar.gov.in. You can also write into us at Vigyan Prasar A50, Sector 62, Noida, Uttar Pradesh 201309. So we'll take your leave now. See you again next week. Till then, stay safe and think scientifically. Bye for now.